Well guys, got another video for you. I have this for a couple more days, so I stole the wand out of it. So I borrowed the remote identifiers out of it, so I could do this video for you guys. Today, we're going to talk about this little guy. The Cable Master 210. A little device, but does a lot. So today, in this box, we're going to look and see what comes with it, and then we're going to go through a couple things that it does. Perfect for $80 value, US, not Canadian. Perfect for um, the small tool bag and just doing small, light, little, easy jobs. Recommended for the value, for the, for the price of this thing? Yes. So, of course, we get the, the device, which is what it looks like right here. And inside, we get a little instruction booklet. It's kind of nice. You open it up and kind of hard to see but yeah we got a nice big pamphlet anything we need to know uh, no basically tells us we can do TIA 568A TIA 568B uh, Ethernet two pairs coax oh I didn't get the little coax adapter Maybe I'll have to order one of those and try it and keep it in my kit. Because I'm going to keep this in my kit because if I lose it on a job or forget it on a job, I'm not really going to be up a lot of money compared to other tools that I have. Pretty basic instruction manual. Nothing to, uh, to um, call home about because it's uh, not that hard of a dice device to use. So we got the 210 box device. Oh, it does come with a battery when you buy it. And it's got energizers in there. That, that's a cool thing. Good batteries. Um, so today, if I can put the case back on. Okay. We're going to use the remote identifiers that I'm going to borrow out of this kit. It's got coax identifiers in this, but I don't have the little uh, RJ45 to coax in here, so that's fine. And then also, I'm um, going to use the... Everybody has a different name. I call these a tone wand. Some people call them a cable pro, whatever you want to call them. It does work, as you can hear it, right? So I'll turn it on. Hopefully there's not too much glare. As you can see, I'll turn it off. So you can see what it looks like when we turn it on. So when we turn it on, we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, our pairs. And if we push the power button one more time, a nice, bright, I don't know if this camera's going to work that well, maybe, probably not, because I got it on auto ISO, which sucks, but the screen is very, very bright. Let's see if we can actually get it here to work. Can we? Yeah, there we go. As you can see, very, very bright. We can test the cable and all that stuff, but I'm gonna turn the light off on that so that way we can put it down on the table here. Okay, so easy to use. Um, we pull the little tester out, right? Pull the tester, pull the tester out. We can pop a cable in to the top of it and to the little tester, dongle, whatever people want to call them. Everybody's got a name for something. And if we push check mark on here, we got a pass. We're using module number one. Uh, there's no number on this module number one, but it says one because all these other ones that I have up here have numbers on them. We'll try that in a second. And you can see all the numbers. There's no actual shorts. This is a perfect cable because it's passed. It doesn't tell you the distance of the cable and it doesn't tell you where the short is if there was one. It just shows you the pairs on the front of the screen here if there was one. Okay, so I take that out so we know that it does that. I'm gonna put this back into here because I don't wanna break it. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it out. We will try one of these little guys, these little um, remote identifiers. So I'm gonna pick number five. Let's put it in the top. Now, you wouldn't put these in the top to test it. You'd put these in the keystones or in a patch panel or whatever you're trying to find. If you buy 24 of them and you're working on a building, you run around a building and plug all these in and then use this device to identify patch panels and stuff like that. Pretty cool. We put it in there. We will push 
check mark. And what number do we have? It says five. We got five. Pretty sweet. Okay. And let's try one more, see what happens. Um, it doesn't do it automatically. You always have to push the check mark here. So we'll push check mark again. We got number three. And we got number three. Pretty sweet. So pack these come in packs of 24. I'll show you that on the screen here in a second. I'm going to put this away in here. Now, they say we can use this as a tone generator. So if we have a long cable, we put this on the tone, it's on low, and we grab our sniffer, wand, whatever everybody wants to call them. We can hear. And I think if we do a different tone, no, um, 45 maybe? Yeah, just different pairs of stuff like that. Maybe if you only have like two cables or one cable on the other end and you need to change your pairs, do that, seven and eight. Okay, and let's see here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay, and if, I believe this is this means that we're going to push tone across all of them. Yep, yeah. and it works. Handy little tool to have in your pouch along with this. For maybe $200, maybe you have a junior technician, you want to send this out and he can go out and do all these little small tasks for, uh, for you guys to do. Good to have. So let's jump into the accessories and what this device looks like. Okay, so... If we look at the website, itnetworks.safreen.com, I'll put the link to this product in the video for you guys. You can see that the Cable Master 2 is on here. It has some basic features. So compact, economical, continuity, and wire tester with large, easy to read display or screen. Yes. Very, very, very easy to see. Very nice to see in the dark also. Very handy for that. Test. Ethernet cables for break, short, swap wires, and split pairs with one push of a button. The check mark. We push the check mark. Test cables up to 340 meters. That's um, that's pretty far. That's a long cable. Removable u remote unit. Yep, the remote comes with it. Kind of sticky to get it in and out of, but that's good because that means you won't lose it. It'll stay in there until you actually pull it right out. And down below here, it shows you all the accessories down here. So we got the cable probe wand sniffer whatever you want to call it the coax port identifiers so if we click on this i think the picture comes up it comes with different adapters up to 20 of them so you are using this for testing coax perfect for that the rewire map identifiers i don't have any of those so i can't test that and i don't know if that works with these or not this one comes with some different wire uh, maps so i can't test them on that and then, of course, the 24 RJ45 remote identifiers, which are these little yellow ones that I showed you guys. These guys. So, like I said, for $200, a little kit to throw in your bag or to give the junior technician or any other technician that doesn't want to be using the big bad guy to do a simple task, perfect for that. So, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll leave a link to all these products below in the video and special thanks to Tom for sending me this device. Talk to you guys later.